Hello fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and we're in Windy San Marino. Apologize for the wind. And we're up here at one of the three main towers in the city of San Marino. And what's cool is if you come to San Marino, it is a beautiful place. There's views, whether you look at the mountains on this side or you look at the sea on this side with Rimini, is fantastic. It's well worth visiting. If you're going to Rimini for uh, you know your, your beach vacation or Ravenna, well worth checking out. But even a cool place like San Marino with with the towers and the fortresses and the cool museums has things you're not gonna like. So what we have today are five things you're gonna love and hate about coming to San Marino. Now the first thing you're not gonna like about coming to San Marino is actually getting here. Because if you're coming from Rome, well there, there's no train here. You gotta take the train to Rimini and then you take a bus up here. And the bus from Rimini up can be a little <clears throat> tummy turning. And if you're driving from Rome, the way there as well can be a little <clears throat> tummy turning. So just be, be ready for that. So getting here is not the easiest thing to do but it is well worth doing now since the second thing you might not like about coming to San Marino is the fact that it is so close to Rimini that in the summer you literally have busloads of tourists that come here from their beach vacation it's kind of their cultural getaway when they are here and you know they could go to Ravenna they could go other places but if you think about it you're going to San Marino it's another country it's a country inside of Italy it is pretty cool but because of that it gets totally packed with tourists and so you have you know you know, rubbing shoulders with people and coming up the hills and all this kind of stuff and it does get a bit frustrating with all those tourists in the high season you come low season it's almost empty you can enjoy the city or the, well the city and all the nine the, well there's actually nine towns that make up San Marino but the Chita de San Marino the city of San Marino is easy to get around but like I said, is it is up on the we are up in the mountains here, and so the third thing you're not going to like is you do have to hike up hills. The parking lots for cars and the parking lots for buses are at the bottom of the hill, so you do have a hike up. So if you want to come up to you know the towers up here and you want to see the museo, uh, the stato, the, the the state museum, it is a hike. So if you do have limited mobility or you need a cane and stuff like that, it is kind of tough to get around. Not super bad, but just be ready for a lot of uphill climbs. And of course, in the down, the downward going back down, because I know I'm here with my mother-in-law and she's having some issues getting up and down all the hills, so just be ready for that. Now, the fourth thing you might not like about coming to San Marino is actually the shopping, because you might be thinking of, oh, I'm coming to this historic country and I'm going to my own, this own different country, there's gonna be cool stuff to get here. Well, there are some cool things, what you need to realize is the shops here, I mean, they're selling guns and they're selling crossbows and they're selling perfume and watches. So if you're coming to shop for other things, like when you go to Italy, you're not gonna have that here. And that can be a little off-putting when you're seeing like gun stores and, and perfume stores and watch stores everywhere or souvenir stores and you're looking for other things out there and also during the high season a lot of times the the store people will actually be kind of like busting oh come on in come on in check out our gold check out our watches and it can get a little frustrating to do that and that leads us into the fifth thing you might not like when you come to San Marino and that is since there are all the tourists that come here and they do kind of cycle through because of Remini service isn't up to the usual Italian standards as I would say so the service is a little bit lower it's not bad it's just not as friendly and outgoing it's more of a tourist destination kind of kind of uh, service atmosphere here but I won't lie the food is fine you, you eat very well here so that's not a problem but just the service does kind of fall off okay but those are just little tiny things you're not going to like when you come here because honestly coming to San Marino I've been trying to come here for years and I'm so happy I got here because it is fabulous and the first thing you're going to love about coming here is the view I mean look at this this is this is the view of the mountains and the sun over here and, and you have Rimini over there in the sea and all these things and it's just gorgeous because you have sorry let's get all this down it is gorgeous here and you're going to love the views because you come here and you walk around, you look off the side of the cliffs and the mountains and everything and you really feel like you're in a different world and you're like back in medieval times. Which goes into the second thing you're going to like about coming here are the walls and the fortresses and all the kind of cool things around here that really do make you feel like you're in medieval times. I mean this is an 11th century fortress behind me. They have 13th century fortresses. All kinds of cool things to see that do take you back which is actually really cool. 
Now, and so when you're wandering through, you'll see historic things like the Basilica de San Marino and, and the, the Church of St. Peter, where San Marino, you know, where San Marino slept in the caves and stuff like this. And it does have like, you know, the typical cool churches that you do find in Italy. You do also find here in San Marino, and it gives you this all kind of amazing feel when you are here. Now, the third thing you're gonna like when you come here is, since this is one of those micronations, micronations tend to like to have kind of silly museums or offbeat museums. And yes, they do have the Museum of the State, which is cool with art and history and things like that but also they have the museum of kind of like old weapons they have a museum of new weapons they have a car museum here there's the museum of curiosity for weird facts um, they've got you know the they got the wax museum they've got all these little silly kind of museums that are nice to stop in and what's cool is in San Marino it's not that expensive it's not like going to the Vatican or going to you know uh, Monaco where you know these micro days have insane prices here the prices aren't that bad okay and with the cool little things you can do here whether it's you know taking the the, the cable car up and down or going to the museums or the fortresses it is kind of cool with all that stuff the fourth thing you're gonna love about coming here is getting outside the city and the little towns and going hiking in the mountains because you do bump into crazy Italians and San Marino people that are loud and you know obnoxious and but fun at the same time and you do have the hikes through the mountains and you can go down to Rimini and go to the beach there or what I really recommend is going to Ravenna and you can see the Byzantine churches there they're not 500 years old they're from the year 500 and Ravenna is one of my favorite places in Europe to go it's got beaches and history and it's all right here so that's another thing you're gonna love about coming to San Marino is that there's all kinds of places right by to explore even more and the fifth thing you're really gonna like about coming to San Marino is since it's mostly day trippers that come here from Rimini and other places if you're here in the evening it really is like you're like back in time you're wandering the ramparts and the walls and the fortresses and it's you know they have it lit up so nicely and they do celebrate a lot of the festivals here and it is kind of like you're in a whole different world once all the tour buses go away. So if you do get a chance, please do stay here overnight. They do have actually a lot of really good cheap accommodation here in San Marino because most people are staying in Remini, so there's a good deal there. So those are the five things that I love and hate about coming to San Marino. Uh, what are yours? Put them in yours in the comments section below. We hope you enjoy the video and we hope you have a great time in San Marino. Bye from the Chita di San Marino. <laughs> Ciao.